Hello and welcome to this MB2716 certification course which is Microsoft Mix 365 customization and configuration and in this course you will learn the first part of the four part series. So in the first part you will learn how to configure Dynamics 365 and you will be learning specifically as per the Microsoft curriculum, right? So this is the first time I'm launching this course on the platform like Udemy because this is something was specifically for my mastery program members but I thought let me just uh, do that because there are a lot of people looking for this certification and I got a lot of emails and messages so I thought let me just launch this on Udemy and um, uh, give the chance to people who want to learn and want to boost their career right so this is part one of the four series so you will have part two three and four courses also available and the reason I have structured this in a way that you know, this course is huge. This is a huge program because it is not just helping you prepare for MP2716, but it is also teaching you Microsoft Dynamics 365 customizations and configuration, right? So I thought, you know, when somebody enrolls for an entire course, of course, it's very difficult for them to go through, right? Because it has like 13 to 14 hours of content. So I thought, let me just break it down. So it's easy for students to go through they can learn practice and then they can move to the next step which is part two then three then four and finally they can go for the practice test right so this is something i have created for you it is part one of four series and in this training you will learn how to configure dynamics 365 as per the microsoft exam curriculum right so if you go to microsoft website search for mb2716 you will see the certification details like what is going to be covered in the certification so what i have done is i have created the course in such a way that you are going to learn all the things as per the certification and also i've given the exam preparation notes which you can go through and help you prepare for the exam so welcome to this course and uh, let me tell you what you will learn in this entire program. So the first thing you will learn is Microsoft Dynamics 365 administration and settings. So in this first you will learn what is configuring auditing, right? So first we'll talk about what is auditing process in Dynamics 365 and also I will practically show you how you can configure auditing inside Dynamics 365. Once you do that, the next thing will be document management and collaboration. You know, Dy Dynamics 365 integrates with document management solutions like SharePoint and uh, Office 365 uh, groups, and it can help you really good environment to work in Dynamics 365. So we'll talk about document management and collaboration. Then you will learn how to configure administration settings. So administration part is a huge one, right? So I've, I'm going to show you each one in detail and you can learn from that and you can configure as per your client's requirement. Then you will learn how to perform data management tasks. So we'll talk about the data management section in, in the administration so that you can learn what exactly is inside and how to perform data management. And then you will learn how to perform user management because you know Dynamics 365 administration, you should know how to manage users, how to add users. So those things you will be learning in the user management and finally you will learn how to change the theme of dynamics 365 based on the customer requirements right so based on the organization what colors they choose uh, you can always you know implement themes in dynamics 365 so that is you will learn in administration and settings once you complete that the next module is dynamics 365 security model where first you will identify the security roles like what are security roles in dynamics 365 and how it can be useful then you will learn how to define permissions and privileges. Okay, we'll talk about this in detail. If you don't know about this, that's okay. Uh, you will learn everything step by step. Then you will also learn how to configure access levels. So there's a difference between privileges and access levels. And we'll go in, we are going to cover that in detail. Plus you will learn practically in that. And also you will learn how to configure and assign security roles to users. Because if you don't have security role assigned to users, the user will not be able to access Dynamics 365 application, right? So that's very, very important. And also how to implement multiple security roles and manage access. So in case if you are assigning multiple roles to a user, then what will be their actual security privileges, right? So that's something we'll see and how you can manage access. Then we'll talk about hierarchy security where you will learn two types of hierarchy security that you can configure, right? In this module, I'm gonna show you what exactly the hierarchy security is. And also I'll show you practically how you can configure that. Then you will learn the concept of business units. Very important concept if you want to implement Dynamics 365. This is one of the concepts that you must 
master and uh, help your customers with that so you will learn how to configure business units and how security models is designed be on top of business units okay and finally you will see how to manage teams so instead of assigning security roles to a single user or having many users you can just create teams and use that for security so that's something you will learn in this module then you will learn about how to configure Dynamics 365 email services. So first you will learn different integration options in email services. As you know that Dynamics 365 doesn't have any inbuilt email management solution, right? So it integrates with other applications. Then we'll see how can you configure email server profile and also the default organization email settings that you can do, right? Also you will learn one type of email services that is server-side mail synchronization so you will learn how to enable server-side email synchronization and how can you send and receive emails using this model then you will learn how to enable folder tracking so we'll talk about how you can track your outlook emails directly to dynamics 365 you don't have to manually do that so that's something i will show you and also how to map the exchange folders with dynamics 365 so that's something you will learn as well and finally in this module you will learn how to set up and configure CRM app for Outlook, right? So server-side synchronization is one way. You can also set up app which works with Outlook and from Outlook you can do a lot of operations. So that's something I will show you in this uh, process. Right, so I'm sure that you will learn a lot of things in that. And then next you will learn how to integrate Dynamics 365 with other Office 365 offerings. So in this first you will learn how to select the appropriate Office 365 group integration. Uh, we'll talk about the Office 365 groups as well, like why you should use groups and how to create and configure them and how to integrate Microsoft Dynamics 365 and SharePoint. That's something you will learn. Uh, also, how to enable linking to OneNote files. And we'll talk about OneNote integration as well, because OneNote can be a very powerful tool for your customers or other users, right? And finally, we'll see how to configure OneDrive integration. So there's a difference between SharePoint integration and OneDrive integration. Both are used for storage of documents, but uh, there's a difference. So that's something I will show you in this particular section. And then for every module i have given the exam preparation notes so that you can learn you can take the key takeaways from the particular module and practice okay and that can help you in the mb2716 exam preparation as well so this course covers about 20 to 25 percent of mb2716 exam curriculum as per the microsoft please note that this is not the microsoft official course this is something i have created after passing the certification and after teaching to a lot of people that's something I thought, let me just help other people pass the certification plus learn Dynamics 365. Also, I'm launching part two, part three and part four to help you prepare for the entire exam. So it will be easy for you that you just want to go through step by step and you will learn Dynamics 365. Plus, you will also prepare for the Dynamics 365 certification, which is MB2716. And finally, we'll do a course review. Right. So that's something you will learn in this module and in this course. I'm really excited to have you here. If you have any questions, feel free to message me, email me and I would love to help. So let's get started with your journey.